Hey, Lumomet friends! Andang here for another episode of Minas Tirith. When we last left off, we had finally found Tolwyn's mother and completed the necessary quests, and so now it's just time dark to talk skies, to Dunith. Dark tidings. I thought my entire family was lost. I came to the woods to plan my last stand to take revenge for the death of the destruction that Korporta has caused. He took the life of my sweet Gilgir, my two sons. I must stand strong. Now that we are all here, perhaps we can stand a chance to see this revenge through. I would recommend that we head to Jal Kapir, a blockade right outside Kar Andros. If we can take the blockade, then we may have a chance to get inside Kar Andros. And confront Corporta. Okay. Well, let's go on and go inside. And I think this might actually be the final quest here. There's just, you know, we'll walk casually staying right there. Alright. Let's go around Wag Friend here. Yep, this should be the last quest. Alright. Hey, you just keep swimming in place there, buddy. Take no worry about us. Alright. Here we go. Da da da! Alright. Oh man, we got a long way to go. Alright. So I'm surprised we haven't used more of this zone, actually, because it feels like it's really just all kind of around crit host, and they haven't really used, especially up here, not really much. But, you know, maybe they'll add in more quests up there later. And I really, really, really hope that we get to go to North Athelion before Minas Tirith falls. That would be nice. But, you know, maybe that won't be till later. I honestly don't know. I'm just really excited to see where things go. And obviously, I honestly don't know. I don't even know why I said it that way. All right. Um, not good. Not good at all. All right. That city is totally gone. All right. I'm surprised we didn't have to go into that camp, but I guess they're like, well, you went into Pelennor enough. Don't worry about this. Alright. Of course, that could be what we're about to do. Okay, nearly back over there. Got all sorts of great loot once more. And hey. Put that there. I have way too many allies. Ah! Ah! Too late. Oh well. We'll take him. Dang it, pulled him too. Um, yeah, there's totally... Oh no. That'd be terrible if he just jumped off. Buddy, just stay here. There we go. So Kapar is located next to Kar Andros. I'm guessing it's this camp then. Let's go inside. Yep. Defeat enemies at Jal Kapir. There's another adventure over here. If you know you want to fight together. Okay. 
feeling we need to make it towards the back of the camp. So deeper we shall go. Okay, here we go. There's five out of ten. Let's kill the captain. Pull him into this other stuff. speak with Duneth, who's apparently not even in the camp. So yeah, that's great. I haven't slept in days. Good work. I was able to take out the scouts patrolling near the bridge. I think we have a shot at getting into Car Andros. I hope that this isn't too much for Tolwyn. He is a brave warrior, but still so young. Indeed, way too young. We have come this far, and I am not going to give up. Let my mother lead us to victory. Awesome. Okay, I think we just completed Quest of Talith Anor. Alright, awesome. Well, now we can just leave you guys. Ooh. We get a class trait point if we defeat roaming enemies and the rest of it. Cool. Hero of Talith Anor. Awesome. And we gain some confidence, apparently. Okay. Thank you for your aid in finding my mother. Still, there is much to do. Okay, yeah, you should probably have custody over him again. Dark skies, dark tidings. My son Tolwyn and I are bound to this task of defeating those who destroyed our home. My husband and sons will not rest soundly until Kuptora is defeated. Andeng, you did not need to put yourself in danger, as you have no ties to Talithanor. However... I see it in your eyes that you have done much to help this land and wish to see a better life for all Gondorians. Also, I see in Tolwyn's eyes that he looks up to you. You should accept this final attack. You will give Tolwyn the strength he needs to face the man who killed his father and kin. I will not mourn for the loss of my husband Gilgir my sons until the first blade falls but what if you lose your son your only remaining son you stand at the steps of Kyr Andros where the fearsome Suhalar Korputa must face the consequences of his actions for the slaughter of Gilgir and his sons and what if you lose me father give me strength stay close son alright here we go didn't we already kill all these guys? Okay. I guess they weren't the instance kind. If you know what I don't mean. I have no idea what that would even mean. Alright, here we go. What happens in an instance stays in an instance, huh? Huh? Alright. We must press forward. More Easterlings ahead! Yes, there are. Defeated enemy, five out of five. What do we look like? Just enemies to you? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, here we go. Now we need to find the first blade. That is the new quest. And I'm glad we're actually able to kind of sort of maybe go inside this city now. Even if it is just an instance form. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
My dear Skilgear, you will rest well tonight. Yeah, I don't know why they changed Hells to be so high. Kinda wish they didn't do that so that there's still a bit of a challenge in keeping them alive. But I think it could have been less than what it was. Alright. I shall avenge you, my brothers Gilhand and Tharden. This is for Car Andros. Alright, here we go. Yeah, nothing to say on this one. Gate oh, oh, trolls! Lots of stuff. Oh no. The first blade! Corrupta! Corrupta looks amused at your presence. He's got like the airbender stuff going on there. Alright. Completed Easterling Slayer of Old Anorian. You're lucky that they were in this instance. Right, no dialogue, just straight combat, okay. Ow! This guy's not messing around. What those trolls are gonna do? It is an honor to die by my blade. It's taking three of us to kill one of him, and their hells are actually going down pretty well. There is no escaping death. You have slain the fearsome first blade. Of the Sokolar. Victory is ours! It is done. Dark skies, dark tidings. We shall not tarry here much longer except for this paragraph while those trolls are ranting at us. We have finished what we have set out to do. It would be foolish to take on an entire army gathered within these walls. Let us all retreat to Crithost. We have accomplished what we came out for. Let us retreat to Crit Host. I really don't know why I keep repeating dialogue like all the other NPCs all of a sudden. But I do. Dark skies, dark tidings. We have made it back safely to Crit Host. Tolwyn and I shall spend our time religiously protecting this village. I am certain that some of the enemy in Car Andros will retaliate. Crithost will stand. You have my word that we will rebuild Talith Anor in time. I haven't slept in days. I know you must depart because your deed is done. For the enemy marches south from Car Andros towards Minas Tirith. You must defend the White City from the forces of Mordor. Do not fear. We shall be able to hold our own at Crithost. You, you vow to Dunneth and all the people of Talithanor to return after the battle and help her retake Car Andros. You do not know when you will be able to fulfill this promise, but you assure her that you will keep it. I really hope that we come back. That would be awesome. Thank you, Andeng. Your vow means much to me. It is what Gilgia would have done, and would have wanted. I shall await your return, brave man. Please make sure to speak with Tolwyn before you leave. I shall always remember this day. You have taught me much, Andeng, in our short time together. 
I shall return to my practice my fighting techniques until we meet again. Thank you again for your assistance in finding my mother, and returning me with my family I still have. You should make sure you speak with Cunaveth before you head south. Farewell, my friend. Minas Tirith will hold. I'm sure of it. You would not believe it, but the saplings you brought back are growing better in Crithost than they were in the orchard. I'll see to it that these fields are as beautiful and plentiful as they once were. It is a shame you have to leave so soon, but I do understand. This is a hard time for everyone in Gondor, and the White City needs as many able warriors as they can get. Good luck. And don't be a stranger around here in more peaceful times. Coveneth will do her part in rebuilding the once fertile farmlands and orchards of Talithanor. Okay, well I guess that that is the end of that particular quest line. Alright, so we do have a vow to that, but we do need to now go speak once more with Ingold. Back inside Minas Tirith. Okay. So let's see. We got two quests now at the North Gate. Let alone all the others. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Minas Tirith. When we return, we will actually be heading back to Minas Tirith for the final confrontation and everything that that entails. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Minas Tirith. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel, and help me continue to create high quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.